every time something new in the tech space comes out, such as the recent 4060 and 4060 Ti, or the 7600 XT. It's easy to feel left behind, especially since there always seems to be a new release just around the corner. And that's not just with GPUs, it's the same everywhere in the tech space. Headphones, there are new ones from Corsair, keyboard group buys keep popping up, and mice are now lighter than 60 grams, and there's even a new fan from Noctua. But if you feel stuck or left behind, and it doesn't seem like there's any way you can catch up to all the new releases, well, you're not alone. I felt that way until I asked, why? Why do I want and or need any of it? I find that it boils down to about three reasons. Finding out these reasons made it easy for me to enjoy looking at all the new releases and be alright not buying it. The first reason why is that you believe you need an upgrade and I've fallen for this hard, hence the large amount of tech that I've bought. But what is the reason to upgrade? Part of it is the constant marketing, and it's not necessarily just the ads, it's the placement in esports, the content you watch, like this one, showcasing a better or improved version of whatever you bought previously. But the other half is less insidious sounding, it's the actual want to improve. Whether that's to be effective in productivity or improve in gaming prowess, making it a one-two punch to your wallet. Well, for me, the cycle went like this. I played games and went to work and I did well in both, but not that great in both. And I was looking to improve, so I checked out what others are using and I do my research and buy what seems like a better option than what I currently have. Elated, I get back to my desk, this time with some excitement of what improvement I would gain. I would get better, and then I would plateau. Then I would want to improve again, find what is better than what I already have, and so the cycle begins anew. After realizing this, I asked what is actually limiting my improvement? I could be buying new gear as I usually do, but I always plateau. And I already have all this gear. I must have missed something at the start. So I went back to the drawing board and figured I should start with aim and downgraded my mouse to the old G900. I didn't actually downgrade, my progress was the same, and buying the better gear only made it easier to improve. I didn't even reach the limitations of the tech that I was already using, which was the G900. Which brings me to the next reason, feeling limited at the gear that you have and that there is no path to improvement. But like I said previously, I didn't even reach the limitations of the tech I was already using, so why did I feel limited? It's because I was limited, but not in the gear, it's how I thought I should use the gear. Like how gaming gear is for gaming and productivity gear is for productivity. But that's not strictly speaking true. Games or work are kind of the same thing. It's effectively making progress in daily tasks. Games have get 10 headshots or collect 5 Koroks, while work has close 10 support tickets or clear 5 tables. Games kind of now sound like work and work is kind of starting to sound like a game, at least to me, and I became less concerned about what the limits of the tech were and more on how far I can push the limits of the tech. This is what I get excited about, how far can I overclock my GPU, can I video edit on it, hence the channel, and can I add work applications as a game on Logitech's G-Hub or Razer's Synapse, which is what's used to control the mouse, and turns out, yeah, you can. This way of thinking allowed me to create new experiences, in turn allowed me to experiment with my tastes. Coming to the third reason we all buy new tech to have new experiences. This is the hard one. Why did I want to experience new things? Well, turns out I'm human and want to be in the zeitgeist of all the popular tech, the trends that are going on, and humans are social creatures. We want to be talking about the latest movies, just about as much as we want to talk about the latest GPUs and how fast it got expensive, I mean, how fast it can generate frames. And these days, you don't have to buy it to figure out it isn't worth your time. There are guys like me and the big guys like LTT, Gamers Nexus, and Hardware Canucks. We can just ooh and ah while living vicariously on the new hardware they unbox. While being okay that it's kind of out of reach. Because honestly, how many people build petabyte servers in their house? And what am I going to do when I get jealous of it? Build my own petabyte server? Oh, of course not. But that's okay because I don't need it yet. Nice to have, but I don't believe I need the upgrade. I'm not yet limited by my 2TB drive, and I've been gaining experience on how to manage my data by backing up and deleting a bunch of stuff. But if you still want to check out tech and what it can do for both productivity and gaming, check out this video. Subscribe. I'm your host, Naka, and have a nice one.